one. But anyway, uh, so we're on Friday's homework, and we're using the kudasai form. So we already know the kanji, kudasai. comes from kudasaru, or to give. Okay. The, more, the less polite way of saying this is kureru. Written wrong. Kureru. So kureru is a way that you talk with your friends. So tabete kudasai, please eat that. Tabete kure would be a little bit more rude. Tabete kure, so eat it. Okay, so kudasaru, kureru. Those are two verbs. We're going to focus on kudasai. So kudasai is used so much in Japanese, as we already know. We've got um, your chapter 13-2, where you've got Ken-san. He says, Sinasen, kore o misete kudasai. Misete kudasai. Show me this. And the mise no shito says, kore desu ka? Hai, douzo. Hai, douzo. Right? So we learned suwatte kudasai. Right, please sit down. We've learned tatte kudasai. Tatte kudasai. Please stand up. We've learned please turn in something. So dashte kudasai. Actually, we know the kanji for this. And that's dashte kudasai. Uh, please uh, show me something. Mi sete. We know the kanji for that too. Mi sete. Oops. Mi sete kudasai. Mi sete kudasai. Please show me something. We've got mado o akete kudasai. So mado. Mado o akete kudasai. Mado o akete kudasai. We've got mado o shimete kudasai. Oh, excuse me, no, it's doa. Doa o shimete kudasai. Okay, doa o shimete kudasai. Tsugi wa ano shizuka ni. So notice, this is kind of a weird one. We know shizuka. That means uh, quiet. Okay, now this is a na adjective. So we're going to explain a little bit about this one because it needs to be explained. Shizuka na heya. It's a quiet room. Shizuka na hito. He's a quiet person. Shizuka na kuruma. It's a quiet car. Right? However, if we're going to turn this into an adverb, okay, an adverb, shizuka ni shite kudasai. Shizuka ni shite kudasai. What this means is kind of, please do quietly. Please do quietly. Shizuka ni shite kudasai. Shizuka ni shite kudasai. So that's why there's a ni there. It has nothing to do with going or whatever, the, the marking. It's actually the na adjective's way of changing to a uh, adverb. Right, because it's modifying a noun. Shizuka ni shite kudasai. So if we're talking about modifying a, uh, a noun, right? Shizuka na hea, shizuka na hito, shizuka na kuruma. But if we're talking about modifying a verb, shizuka ni shite kudasai. ne. And then we've got, uh, mo ichido itte kudasai. Mo ichido itte kudasai. Tell me one, say it one more time. Mo ichido itte kudasai. So shite, chotto matte kudasai. Kore wa shiru beki desu ne. Chotto matte kudasai. Chotto matte kudasai wa honto ni daiji desu. It's very important. Chotto matte kudasai. So this can be used for um, like somebody bumps you. You say, chotto matte kudasai. Or if someone's like, I don't know, Saikin Kita, and 
とジェニファーがね妊娠になりましたよちょっと待ってください。So, hey, did you hear? Jennifer got pregnant. Oh my gosh, what? So, ちょっと待ってください is kind of a, a, a way of expressing surprise. It can also mean, hey, stop it. Okay? And so, a lot of Japanese, especially women, will shorten this just to ちょっと。ちょっと。And ちょっと can be used like for chiding children. It can be used for like somebody bumps you. ちょっと。Right? And it can also be used for like if somebody, like say you're on the phone, you're like, ah, what's your seat? Ah, yeah, so it's there. Hi, hi. Oh, I'm cutting my stuff. And then someone comes to you and tries to talk to you. I don't know. And you're like, ah, cho, 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 cho. Right? And it's a way of waving someone off as well. So, cho, cho, mate, cho, 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 almost always, if you're going to use cho, cho alone, it's going to imply mate, cho, cho, behind it. So, cho, cho, mate, cho, 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 Um, so, uh, very important uh, phrases there. We already know, oh, okay, we got omise. So, omise is the catch all word for、uh, store. And we know sumimasen already. Sumimasen. We know ichi through go. Oops, I can't write kanji now. Someone's wrote yon. You know each through go already, so that's no, that's a review more or less. And let's see here, how different is the service to Japanese stores and US stores? Oh boy, oh boy. So,、um, in Japanese stores, it this can be really annoying. I remember a mall in、um, Odaiba, and there's literally girls outside, and so if you know anything about Japanese women, when they're, at the work, when they're at work, they talk one octave higher than their normal voice. So at home, they're like, hi, so this n a m e hi, so this n a m e But then when they're at work, they're like, hi, so this n a m e hi, so this n a m e And it's really, really annoying. So, of course, everyone, like the way you get people to the store is you say, いらっしゃいませ So they're literally screaming, like, いらっしゃいませいらっしゃいませいらっしゃいませ And that can be very annoying. It can be very annoying. Because in, a, in America, you like walk up and you're just like, Hey, and they're like, hello. In Japan,、um, also because you've got a completely different level of, hum- of humble speech, they won't say, like, ちょっと待ってください They'll say, 少々お待ちくださいませ And they won't say, like, はい、わかりました They'll say, かしこまりました、um, And there's just a whole different, like I've said before, there's a whole different way of speaking. That even if you know Japanese at a basic level, most people are not prepared for.、It. And so they'll say, like, こちらはいかがですか Instead of saying, これはいいですか They'll say, こちらはいかがですか Or, いかがでしょうか And so a lot of people are like, what? Like, I don't understand what that means. So your work, you've got activities. Ooh, you've got a lot of work today. You're hosting a Japanese student at your school. You bring the student to your Japanese class and you request them to do the following. So you're going to add, you're going to add stuff to it. So, number one, please wait here. Here. So, koko de, we're gonna, where's, where's wait? Koko de, chotto matte kudasai. Koko de, koko chotto matte kudasai. ここでちょっと待ってください。Please wait here. Okay, two, please stand now. So we know now is ima. So ima, what's going to be after that? Pretty easy, right? Number three, please introduce yourself. So this is where you just change shimas to shite kudasai. Shouldn't be hard. That in there it says shokai shimas. But most Japanese will actually say, Jiko Shokai. And this means self introduction. Jiko Shokai. And so, like, for example, someone's on a game show or something, they walk up and they go, Hey! And the per- person says, Hey! Jiko Shokai, o n o g a i s h i m a s So please introduce yourself. So Jiko means self. And Shokai means introduction. And you'll hear that a lot. Jiko Shokai. 
己紹介してください。自己紹介してください。えー、っと、Please write your name on the board. We know name. So, name o board ni. We're going to write after the right, please.、Uh, five, please read your name. So, name o read, right? And then please sit down and observe our class. So remember, that's going to be the te form. So please sit down. So, hmm. Well, actually, you can split it into,、uh, into two nouns. I'm、oh, sorry, split it into two、uh, sentences. So sit down, class O, observe, right? And then, let's see, Simon says. That's a little bit hard.、Um, let's just go ahead and skip to C. Do C as well. So you're going to do A and you're going to do C on page 268.、Um, you can do Simon Says if you like. I don't mind. Go ahead. Make that choice.、Um, but it's important that you review those, those days.、So、make sure you write out the katakana and then the English date. Jashit's Moa Nain Shoka. If you have any questions, please put them on comment. I do read them. So,、uh, unfortunately, again, there has been no mention of any grading. So, until they get their crap together and start saying, okay, we're going to do grading today, we're going to start grading, you're not going to see your grades. We haven't had any word, Thunderbird. So, don't freak out, little trout.、Uh, make sure that you are up to date, though, so you don't have to go back and do it and then take a late for it. Okay? じゃあ改めてよろしくお願いします。